Okay, so now in this video, we're going to see how to actually spawn lots of enemies to the area. Because right now we only have one enemy, but we want to be able to spawn at least 20 different enemies in the area. Okay, so how do we do that? So we need an enemy spawner to do this. So let's go to the hierarchy. Let's right click and let's create an empty object. Let's call this object enemy spawner. So enemy spawner like this. Let's reset the transform position. You can see that whenever we create a new object here in the hierarchy it comes with a default position but we don't want this position for the object so let's right click in the transform component and hit reset and now that we have reset the, the position of our enemy spawner let's create a new script for our, en for our enemy spawner let's go to the project view right click select create script let's call the script enemy spawner make sure that it starts with a capital E so enemy spawner let's open the enemy spawner and now what we're going to do is that we need to actually edit this script okay so to do it let's let's see what we have to do we want to instantiate or we want to make a copy of our enemy so to make copies to make different copies of our enemy let's uh, create a reference to the enemy game object so let's say public game object enemy now, like this, we have created a reference to the enemy, but we have to set this reference from the inspector. We'll do it later. Right now, what we want to do is that right now, we want to uh, create a copy of this reference, of this object. So that's why we have a reference. So to create a copy, let's create a method called spawn enemy. So let's create a method here called void spawn enemy. And inside this method, we want to specify how we want to spawn this enemy. Okay, so first of all, let's say game object. So we're going to create a variable of type game object. Game object. And we're going to call it new enemy. And we're going to assign the value. So we're going to create a copy of this reference. So to create a copy in Unity, we use the instantiate method. So instantiate. Choose instantiate. Open parenthesis enemy so instantiate enemy so like this we have created a copy of the we have created a new enemy so now we need to set the transform dot position of this new enemy so just type in new enemy dot transform dot position equals new vector 2 and we're gonna have a random value here so we're gonna type in rand x and rand y so what is randx and what is rand y? So rand x will be a random value. Rand x will be a random value along the x axis and random y will be a, a random value along the y axis. So first of all, we need references to create these random values. So if we go back to the unit inspector, we can see that we have a camera and this is the outline of the camera. This white square that you see or this white, white outline is the camera. So we want to create a reference to this point over here of the camera and this point so the bottom left and the top right corners of the of the camera and once we have our references when we once we have a reference to both points we want to create a random value between this point so between this y this x component and this x component and between between this y component and this y component so we want to create random values but we need the reference first so let's go to the unity editor so here we're going, we're going to declare let's go to the unity sorry let's go to visual studio and here we will declare the the random values so let's de let's define them here so float rand x and i've gone okay float rand y okay so now the this shouldn't give us an error because we have defined it here but now we need we need to actually um get the references to those points of the camera so vector 2 bottom left bottom left and vector 2 bottom right and you might be asking oh and why is it vector 2 and vector 2 because if we go here to the unity inspector we can see that this actually this point has an x component and a y component and this point over here has an x component and a y component that's why we we make them we define them here as vector 2 
and here in the start method of the enemy spawner we're going to actually set a value for this bottom left and not bottom right but top right okay so it's top right so here we're going to say bottom left is equal to camera so camera dot main dot screen to world point and in here we pass we're going to pass in the the position of the point of the camera that we want to transform into a into a unity point so new vector 2 0 0 and now you might be asking yourself okay and why is it vector 2 0 0 but if we go back to the unity inspector uh, we can see that this point over here this point over here is the 0 0 of the camera we know that the 0 0 of unity is the center this center this is the 0 0 of unity but this is the 0 0 of the camera and we want to transform the 0 0 of the camera to a point a vector 2 in unity i don't know what point this is in unity but we're going to transform it in our code and this point over here is the screen width screen height of the camera and we want to transform it into a unity point or a unity vector 2 so now we're going to do the same thing with the top right so top right equals camera dot main dot screen to world point so we are transforming a point of the screen to a point of the world and we're going to pass in new vector 2 and in here we're going to type in screen dot width screen dot height like this okay so now we have references to the both both corners of the camera now what do we do okay so now what we have to do here is we need to create a value for a random x and a random y so to create a random value we say random x equals random so random dot range and inside the parenthesis we're going to specify the minimum value and the maximum value of our random number so the minimum value is going to be the bottom left position so bottom left bottom left dot x so the minimum value is going to be the x component of, of our bottom left vector 2 and the maximum value is going to be our top right so the top right component the x component of our top right vector okay so now we have defined the value for the rand x now the, let's define the random value for the y so rand y equals random dot range and in here we're going to put bottom left dot y and top right dot y like this so basically if we go back to the unit inspector we are getting a we're getting a random number between this point and this point between the x value of this and the x value of this and between the y value of this point and the y value of this point so our uh, our enemies will be spawned at a random position inside this area all right so let's go back to the unity editor and now we can see that we can spawn enemies so this method whenever we, we call this method we will execute this code and we will spawn an enemy at a random position so how many enemies do we want to spawn so we want to spawn a couple of them we're going to try with 20 so int number of enemies equals 20 let's define a variable for the number of enemies and inside the the start method we will create a loop that will go from 0 to 20 or from 0 to 19 and will spawn each time uh, this method executes the code inside it will we will spawn an enemy so to this we will create a for loop so for int i equals zero so what we do here is that we define an initial variable and we set an initial value then we type in semicolon then we have to specify the condition of the for loop so if i is less than number of enemies then we type in a semicolon and now we type in the increment so the increment of the the i variable is going to be i plus plus which means that we're going to add at we're going to add one to i each time this code is executed so the code that we're going to execute here is spawn enemy so we're going to call this method inside the for loop so at first i is equal to zero is zero less than 20 yes so we're going to spawn an enemy then we're going to add then we're going to add one to i then i is equal to one is one less than 20 yes so we're going to spawn an enemy and when i is equal to 20 we're going to say 
is i so is 20 less than 20 no then we're gonna stop entering this loop so we're gonna we're gonna call this loop 20 times because we have set the number of enemies to 20. all right so let's go back to our our to the inspector to the unity editor let's select our enemy spawner let's add a component let's add the enemy spawner script because if we want this enemy spawner script to work we have to attach it to our enemy spawner and now we have to we have to create we have to get the reference of our enemy so this is our enemy so what we're going to do with our enemy is that we're going to create a prefab so to create a prefab is very easy just drag our enemy so click and drag our enemy to the project view so we have created our enemy here and what is a prefab well a prefab is just an object that you created here in the hierarchy and if you create a prefab from this object from from the enemy object for example that means that we can create as many objects as we want now just by dragging the enemy onto the hierarchy i can drag it like any time any number of times that i want and i will create enemies as as much as i want so we don't need these enemies because we're going to create the copies from the code so select all of the enemies you can select all of the enemies hitting con holding control and selecting them and hit delete and what we're going to do now is that we're going to select our enemy spawner and in this reference we're going to pass in the prefab so click and drag the enemy prefab to the enemy field okay now that we're here you just save the game and now hit play and now we can see that we have a random well it's not a random number it's 20 enemies here on the scene and on the game view so now we can just go around with our player eating and killing all of the enemies okay so everything works perfectly so that's going to be for this video i'll see you in the next one